seven hours, it's time for viewer mail. What do we got? From Microtivity. It's from Matthew Thomas. It is a breadboard with jumper wires. This is for the electronics lab. You got a breadboard with jumper wires from Matthew Thomas. Hey. Don't drop it. Don't be like that. That's from Matt. BoltDepot.com. Thank you, Matt. Matt works at BoltDepot.com. I like BoltDepot.com. Right, I got three BoltDepot.com. Are you guys familiar with BoltDepot.com? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I put a bunch of stuff like this on the wish list a while ago. I'm glad to see it start coming in. 300 snap rings in an assortment. I found a bunch of things like this that are just general stock things. And a dingus. This is a Tontec Raspberry Pi heat sink. It looks like it has more than just a heat sink there, but okay. Who sent it? It's from Audrey Pinchu! To Captain Iron Fist. Hope to see you all July 2nd. In the meantime, please don't kill yourself. P.S. I'm sending a Tecton 12 inch brake spring pliers. Max Ping Chu. Okay, cool. Thank you, Max. That's cool. By the way, if you haven't voted on the thing yet, go to the link in the description. If you have a Facebook, we desperately need your help. Right now we're in first place, but second place is coming up fast, and there are no points for second place. So if you haven't voted and shared it yet, please, please do. This is for five grand, and that's a whole lot of IRC fundraisers. I don't have to do it if we can make this happen. The bank up the street is giving money away to whoever has the most votes. We have a lot of friends, so let's get the most votes. Is it a box of cards? Much, much worse than that. Expansion packs. Who sent it? Yep. Who is the evil bastard that sent it? We got expansion packs. We got expansion packs. I don't know who sent it, but thank you. Oh dear God, thank you. Guys, if you haven't played Cards Against Humanity, <laughs> you have to get this game. Every house on earth needs to have this game. This is the greatest game in the history of games. It is made of evil. If you want to find out just how horrible of a human being you are, you have to get Cards Against Humanity. We have the first expansion, the second expansion, the third expansion, and the fourth. And all productivity at the Geek Group's corporate headquarters just stopped existing. This is going to be the next Let's Play, and I'm going to show up on this one. There will be a Let's Play we with could the do bigger, a, blacker box. We could do a seated tournament with people taking bets. We <laughs> of who's never, the most horrible shit in the Geek Group. We could do this. If we, uh, if we mount that TV, we can pull the Earth table out and put chairs around it. We're going to have to mount the TV, then. That's going to be a thing that happens. Steven! What? Sir! What? I have your dinosaur of the day. What's that one? It looks like dog. It's a Canadosaurus. It actually did evolve to become the modern Canis Domesticus. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. We stopped him! <laughs> Okay, you have to take that and use it for your video. Would you know Dan know? It's not even a... He said it's crows. Uh, crows are dinosaurs, too. You know how many dead things he identifies for people on the net? Yeah. But <laughs> that definitely aren't crows. Asterisk, so I don't, it, is it even a dinosaur? It's not proportioned like a dinosaur. It might be some kind of early Triassic... Does it need an interpretal finestra? I can do this. It freaks me out that I actually know what he's talking about because I watch his damn video. Mm. Not all dinosaurs had antorbital fenestra, so I guess it could possibly be some kind of pachycephalosaur. But the antorbital fenestra. The window to the soul. Get it? Get it? Get it? It's the window to the Get power. It? Get it? Get fenestra. The, the, 
Get it? It's hardly the only finestra. Get it? I'm so clever. It's the only thing that keeps us alive because I'm really not that very smart. So just the clever gets me through. That's Viravel for the day. Thank you to the horrible bastard who sent this. It is the bigger blacker box. Here's what I'm sure will be a deeply useful piece of knowledge for all of you guys. If you have, perhaps, a leaky as hell roof in your high voltage lab and you end up with water all over the floor, absolute best way I've found to clean it up. Now initially you'd think, shot vac with a pump. Nope, found a better way. Clark. Clark rocks at cleaning up water and also leaves a really nice clean spot. I still have soot in here. I still, look at that, that's soot on the floor. They're still sitting here. But thanks to this awesome roof leak, it's a little bit cleaner now. Eh. Mm.